I'm now going to swap over the mains lightweight barrier for the wireless version, which requires a receiver and a battery powered dimmer switch. I'm going to quickly pair them together. And now test the dimming range. Uh, this receiver's got eight different settings, um, so it's more compatible with different LEDs. is based on setting 2 as you can see it just dims perfectly on that one right down to around 10% no buzzing another textbook dimming performance and I'll quickly swap over the wired version of Lightwave RF for the wireless Receiver. Using the wireless dimmer switch. Okay, it dims down to around 30%, flicker free. Very slight buzz, but be highly noticeable when the lights are in the ceiling and spread apart further. Okay, another match. The wireless white wave arrow dimmer switch. Some more buzzing noise can be heard from them. And the dimming range is further down on that. This receiver has got eight settings. Just see if we can eliminate any other buzzing noise. Just switched it over to uh, channel one. Seems to have had the uh, most effect on the buzzing noise. It's gone slightly quieter. The dimming range has improved, so channel one on that has made an effect. It's got it down to about ten percent. Reduce the buzzing noise slightly. Right flicker on that, that is on the setting number one. And a slight flash, and give it down to the low setting. So let's try adjusting the setting on the receiver, see if that fixes it, which it normally does. So 100% working fine. Very little buzzy noise. Dim them right down to barely 10%. Totally flicker free. It's another textbook dimming performance.
see on the second setting, it's a bit of a slight flicker. It's totally silent now, but jumps to off. It's not ideal. Let's try changing the settings. Uh, we've been through all the different settings, uh, one to eight. We found that four gives the best results. Dims it down to around twenty percent. There's a barely noticeable flicker. Let's turn up slightly.